I mean, cookies for breakfast this morning, but they've also got cupcakes and muffins and a bit more breakfasty items. We are live down here in Thomasville this morning at Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe. I'm here with Deborah and Ben Golden. They are both the owners. And now, guys, the shop doesn't open until 8 o'clock, but you all have been so busy baking, baking new stuff all day, every day, even as early as right now. Yes, ma'am. My goodness, my goodness. Now, we've got this beautiful display of cookies and bars and cupcakes what do you guys have out here uh a little bit of everything on bars and cookies different we have some holiday oriented cookies mm -hmm. right now uh some uh beautiful stars and, and christmas trees uh some breads cheese straws uh ninja bread cookies which is kind of interesting i love uh, it we're going to be talking about more of those later because that is just so funny but sounds like you got a little bit of something for everyone yeah I mean, everything, it doesn't matter what you like. It goes from chocolate to key lime. Uh, key lime is one of our biggest sellers. But, of course, for the chocoholics, we all had, <laughs> always have something in there for those. And me and Deborah are both chocoholics, so that's that's kind of important that we I keep like ourselves happy, too. So. All right, now, so, Deborah, so you like chocolate. Which one is your favorite? Which is your favorite treat here? Uh, flourless chocolate tort. Literally something for everyone. I didn't know you guys had towards. You didn't mention those earlier. <laughs> but you also have a, a bit more breakfasty items and lunch as well. Right. Uh, breakfast, we do a full range of omelets, grits, hash browns, uh, steak omelets. Mm -hmm. We also do a like a steak and, and egg kind of combination like that too. Uh, biggest seller right now, probably the garden omelet, which has tomatoes and spinach and sautéed onion. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's the biggest seller in the breakfast right now. So, Great. of course, we still have those people that come in and uh, have a piece of caramel cake for breakfast. So, <laughs> it's got everything in it: eggs, milk. You know, so I guess it's yeah. a breakfast item too. So, it's like a little little continental breakfast or right. something you yeah. got there. All right, now Deborah, you guys are of course open for breakfast and lunch. But coming up later this week, we've got the big Victorian Christmas celebration, of course, going on down here in Thomasville. Will you be open a little later and doing anything special for that? Yes, we'll be open till probably nine or ten o'clock at night Fine. depending on how busy it is and i hear you're gonna have not only the cookies and the cupcakes and all the yummy yummy treats that you have also doing a little bit of barbecue yep that's ben's specialty though uh, uh, he so does all the barbecue i don't <laughs> barbecue <laughs> then ben tell us about this wonderful barbecue well, you got we'll set up out front we'll actually be doing pork sandwiches i do this thing called ribs in a cup where you do barbecue pork ribs slice them put three to four depending on the size into a cup yeah. hit it with sauce so you can walk around and pick it you know pick it up mm -hmm. and eat it uh turkey legs we're actually this year for the first time we're actually doing chicken purlu out front oh. uh then also inside we're running our regular lunch menu but we're going to offer the barbecue and the ribs as as a plate where I you can get it. two sides with it and garlic bread that kind of thing so i hope those to-go ribs are coming with a whole lot of napkins yeah, <laughs> yeah they do well, we are live down here in Thomasville at Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe, learning all about the yummy treats that they've got out here. Keep watching Good Day, because we've got much more coming up. First, Kelly, back on over to you. Flowers. Welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We are sitting down for breakfast at Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe, and we have this amazing smelling breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Savannah Banana, right. correct? Right. All right, so tell us what this creation is. This is a uh, French, basically a stuffed French toast mm -hmm. uh, using a uh, Texas toast bread and buttered on the inside with a mixture of cinnamon, brown sugar, and pecans. Oh my goodness. Uh, then you slice a banana into it, roll it in an egg batter, then you roll it in cornflakes, and finish it with butter. Wow. Then we top it with... Uh, <laughs> then you're not done and, yet. <laughs> yeah, you're not done yet, right. We top it with syrup and some powdered sugar. Uh, this is a little, the light way to eat it. The best way to eat it was a piece of sausage or a couple <laughs> slices of bacon. If you're so, going to go all the way, you might go as well all go the way. Good, right? it, it is South Georgia, so. My goodness. All right, now we're going to pull this off. I'm going to let okay. you go ahead and grab the first one. You want to take the first piece? Uh, how did you come up with this creation? Uh, it, it's a... Basically started out as a recipe we saw uh, that looked pretty good, and then uh, we just modified it some. Ooh, yummy! And uh, kind of get our own little little kick into it. Here, I'll get your oh, piece. Oh, thank so. you. Got the microphone. I'm not really sure I'm going to eat there this. There you go. I think I'll figure it out though. 
My uh, this was pretty good. Goodness. Now you do what? a regular French toast as well. Right. Also, yeah. Well, why would you want that after this? Uh, it's uh, oh. you you wouldn't. <laughs> so. Now, serve breakfast all day. Uh, we just... serve breakfast till ele uh, Tuesday through Saturday from eight to eleven. Alrighty. And then we start our our lunch. Uh, Mondays we're open just eleven to three. Mm -hmm. uh, we do uh, lunch only. Perfect. So it gives us a little chance to try and catch up with stuff. <laughs> Bake so. all those cookies and everything. Yeah. Right, Sunday we do a breakfast, a, a brunch. brunch. Yeah, Ooh, Sunday yeah. we're open for a brunch. We do a combination. That's the only day we do a combination of breakfast and lunch items the whole time we're open. So we run okay. from 10 to 2 on Sunday. Love um, it. Do, do all different kinds. So, you know, some of our breakfast stuff, some of our lunch stuff, and, and then... Uh, We'll do like a quiche or some type of casserole dish sure. or something like that, too. So. I, well, the anticipation okay. and Try the it. smells are killing me. Oh, my goodness, guys. Hmm. I don't want to with my mouthful. I think I took too big of a bite. That was incredible. The bananas in the middle, very contrast. The Was it the cornflakes on the outside? Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wow, now I'm going to eat a couple more bites of this, but I want you all to tell me how on earth did you learn how to cook and bake so well? Practice. <laughs> no, uh, Deborah, uh, she's an amazing cook. Uh, comes from a Sicilian family, and she was the youngest, the, well, the only girl in the family, so a lot of the kitchen things, you know, learning how to cook sure. for her brothers fell to her. And I mean, she literally did start with the Easy Bake Oven when she was a kid. <laughs> And then tried to poison her brothers with cookies <laughs> and stuff. Well, thank God she got over that part of it. Don't worry, folks. She's not going to poison you. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I was the same thing. I was like the oldest member. Mom and dad both worked. So we, all the kids kind of learned to get dinner started that sure. mom could finish it. So I love it. Well, oh, my goodness. This is incredible. We got those cookies and the cupcakes. They got pies, brownies, bars. It's all coming up next here on Good Day. First, Kelly, back on over to you. All right, guys, we are here at Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe talking about the cookies. We had our breakfast, so it's okay. We, we can talk cookies and yeah. cupcakes, mm -hmm. though, right? But uh, some very interesting ones. Now, Deborah, you are kind of the, the master baker here, but some very interesting flavors. You've got a, a chai, and is that rosemary? Rosemary butter cookie. In a cookie? Yep. How did you come up with those ideas? It's just um, we play around with all different kinds of flavors and mm -hmm. stuff, and... My daughter does a lot of them. Um, she comes up with them. How Just. fun. Now, we all know about the typical gingerbread man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to eat his legs first. We can't run away. But uh, you guys have some gingerbread men that might fight back. Yes. Yeah. Talk yeah. to me about these ninja, ninja bread men. Is that the, what These call are called them? ninja bread cookies. They're and little, they're they're actually, little ninja, ninja. How adorable are those? Oh, my goodness. Bread. And they're doing all sorts of different karate moves. Yep. Right. And this one, actually, we have one here that we've kind of simulated. It looks like a little Santa Claus ninja bread cookie, too. So, you know, trying to... Oh, my gosh. He has yeah, a well, beard. That's too cute. Yeah. I'll take a picture and post it on my Facebook page. I know the camera's a bit far away um, for y'all to see the detail work. But, I mean, these are gorgeous cookies. And these are actually... The uh, snowflakes are all for our Christmas season. Uh, and they're all individually... Hot hand iced wow. and individually decorated and just like a, a real snowflake there's no two the same so oh, fun it, and i mean gorgeous gorgeous cookies uh the rosemary and the chai might be a bit more for the adult cookie right, lover exactly. but of course you've got the same ones for the kids yep we I'm got sure the um, sugar cookies decorated for christmas we've got key lime cookies mm. um Pecan Sandies. Oh, that looks like a snowball or something. That's so mm -hmm. fun. And, and we, of we course, just do all the basics, too, the chocolate chip. And we do a uh, cookie called the Ugly Cookie. <laughs> what? <laughs> but it tastes good, though. Yes, it's Basically very good. Basically has everything in the kitchen in it. So. Yeah. It's got yeah. chocolate chip, oatmeal, raisin, Yummy. nuts. Right. It's it's delicious. It's got it's, everything in the yep. kitchen sink, and it doesn't look too good, but I bet it tastes good. Oh, yeah. And uh, you mentioned the key lime cookie. You also have a key lime a uh, cupcake, and I think there was a pie thrown back in right. the fridge, too. We also do a key lime pie, uh, a regular type key lime pie, a key lime cloud pie, a key lime cream pie, and we also do a key lime cake. Goodness. Which is, uh, it's all, we can't keep them in here. They sell so people this like key lime? Yeah, yeah they, people like key they like lime, key yeah. lime. Yeah. 
Yeah. If, if we could figure out how to do a key lime bacon cake, it would probably be, uh, we'd probably <laughs> retire just on that. So. I love it. I love it. I mean, it's all sorts of different flavors. This is just a sampling of the different things that you mm -hmm. have here. Right. Constantly baking, constantly changing. Any idea how many cookies you all bake a day? Um, probably hundreds. Hundreds. Yeah. Hundreds. My yeah. goodness. They're pretty good at what they do. Also do wedding cakes. Yes, we yeah. do. We're getting into the wedding season here and stuff. People just come on by and I guess place their orders? Yes. Well, we have meetings um, with the brides mm -hmm. and then um, bake their cakes. There you go. Now, last question. Can you come in and just buy one cookie? Do you have to buy yep. a dozen? No, you can no, just no, buy no, one no. of anything here. Or one of everything. <laughs> or one of everything. <laughs> there you go. Better. Well, we're not done yet here at the Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe. We still got to make some lunch. Now we've gotten our yummy breakfast. We've talked dessert. Now I got to do lunch. A little out of order, but hey, we're always ready for cookies, That's right? right. <laughs> Back to you guys in the studio. And welcome back to Good Day, everyone. We're live down here in Thomasville at Savannah Moon Bake Green Cafe. I have just been fed to the nines down here between the French toast and the cookies. Oh, my goodness. So, so good. So delicious. But we got to have some lunch food, too. We, we had our nice little sweet dessert. Okay. Threw a couple cookies in the middle, and <laughs> now it's lunchtime. Okay, I've been working on a uh, one of our signature soups is a tomato bacon bisque. Mm. Uh, I basically already started the soup, uh, have sautéed, started with the bacon, uh, crisped that up, sautéed some onions and garlic into it, and then crushed tomatoes. Yummy. So now what we're going to do we got to pull it off the stove real quick. Now, well, what is the difference between a, a bisque and, a, I guess, a regular soup? Or adding what? cream. Okay cream or milk or basing it with a roux or something like Yummy. that. And also bisque is creamy where okay. you want to puree it with an immersion blender, which I've already set up. So it gets it all stirred up in, in there. Just in case it a little bit. We are making this soup live here on Good Day right now. So if you come down here, guys, don't worry. I'm not going to touch it. You know I can't cook too well. We're going we're gonna to let him do it. Because Ben's got it, but uh, this is the the soup of the day that you've been having. Right, today. we do a we do a fresh soup every day. Yummy. We're just gonna puree up that. All right. Uh, again, in case folks can hear, a fresh soup every day, soup of the right. day. Yep. Yummy. The only only day that we do one a particular soup on Fridays, we always do a New England style clam chowder. Oh, I've already. So I cooked the bacon that I told you I started with, and we only use the applewood smoked bacon, which is delicious. That's the good stuff. So I've already chopped it up. All right, so you've just pureed all the tomatoes, but now right. you're going to get that crunch from the bacon. Right, that's why I add this in last after Ooh. I've pureed it or use the immersion blender. Mm -hmm. And we're just right. going to... Slide it back here. Put it back on the stove and let it simmer. Oh. And get the... Uh, until lunchtime, huh? Until lunchtime. Yeah. I mean, that's, I think, part of it, too, because we start soups early in the morning, so they've been cooking. By lunchtime, they've already been cooking five or six hours. So oh, all those it's flavors got the flavor blending in together. It. And we just let that sit there on low, and perfect. we're ready. All right, now they open at 8 o'clock. You can come in and get your breakfast. Again, cookies, cupcakes, if you want it. When does lunch start, and what lunch, other food do you have? Lunch starts at 11 o'clock. We serve lunch from 11 to 3. Okay. Uh, we do sandwiches. We do all kinds. We have several signature salads, a yeah. savannah salad, a cornucopia, which is just a delicious blend of, of fruits and strawberries over, over the top of greens. With mm -hmm. All our dressings are homemade here. Oh. Uh, I know a lot of y'all are working. Uh, if you, This Thursday and Friday night is Victorian Christmas in Thomasville, and we will be open for dinner. Great. We're going to run our regular lunch menu. Okay. So that people will be able to see what we do for lunch. And, they'll and also then be sneak a away bit. from the office to come down. <laughs> right. And sneak away, yeah. Uh, and we're also, since I'm only doing the barbecue out front, we're going to serve uh, barbecued pork or, and ribs with a, yeah. as a plate. So. And then you can come down and enjoy the festivities outside, too. Perfect. So that's Thursday and Friday night, right. open for dinner. Right. Only two days of the year that uh, you're open for We dinner? do, like, special event things. Okay. We have some Christmas parties, that kind of thing we do. Yummy. But we mainly concentrate on the, the breakfast and lunch and desserts. 
uh, for everybody. And then we also do a Sunday brunch. We're open mm -hmm. for Sunday brunch from 10 to 2 o'clock. So. Well, it is definitely apparent that you all have been concentrating on that because yep. the food here was absolutely delicious. <laughs> Smells amazing. They have so much to offer down here in Thomasville. So come on by. If you can't make it Thursday or Friday, just come on down for breakfast or lunch or maybe a cook here too. <laughs> Live here at Savannah Moon Bakery and Cafe in Thomasville. Back to you guys in the studio.